There's power in the simplest of actions, like one neighbor helping another, where everybody looks out for everybody else. Community is everything to your electric cooperative, and we're grateful for your trust to provide the energy you need, giving you the power to power on. Medina Electric Cooperative is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your source for power and information. Primo Processing, located in Hondo, Texas, strives to find the finest, best prime meats and wild game available in the market. We care for all of our customers and maintain the strictest quality standard. Food brings us all together and we want everyone to experience this feeling of togetherness over our delicious food. Come by our store or order online and have your food delivered straight to your door. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., Located on Highway 90 on County Road 432 in Hondo, Texas, we pride ourselves in great customer service. We offer quality prime beef, wagyu beef, fajitas, parisa, year-round wild game processing, guaranteed return of your meat, ranch pickup service, and gift baskets here at Primo Processing in Hondo, Texas. We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Del Zair with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches to spiders and scorpions, Dell has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dell can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dell about any insect related problem you may be having. And he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood destroying insect report for the sale of property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Control Services. Not everyone starts their day at the same time, or in the same way. But no matter when or how, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative is there to help you power every moment of it in countless ways. Because whenever it starts, one thing is certain. We never stop. Medina Electric Cooperative is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your source for power and information.
like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale's there with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches, to spiders, and scorpions, Dale has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dale can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dale about any insect related problem you may be having. And he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood destroying insect report for the seller property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Control Services. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. We are here live from Savannah High School as your Dehennis Cowboys will face the Savannah Yellow Jackets live here on Dehennis Athletics on Facebook and also on YouTube this evening. As you can hear the wind, it's pretty strong. I'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. Getting the start on the mound for the Yellow Jackets is number 25, Jonas Borrego. Behind the plate, number 17, Jason Santos. At third base, number three, Aiden Tinker. At shortstop, number eight, Sergio Vasquez. At second base, number two, Matthew McCauley. At first base, number 10, Bo Bessa. And in the outfield from left to right, Ricky Perez, Brian Alejandro, and Diego Valdez. And in the starting line of four yard, the Hennis Cowboys. Leading off for the Cowboys and getting the start on the mound is number two, J.J. Garcia, followed by first baseman Brent Frosch, shortstop Rain Redden, catcher Will Shavi, third base Marcus Hernandez, center field Cade Hendry, second base Brady Herndon, left field Aaron Chapman, and the designated hitter for the Cowboys, Easton King. And playing right field is number 22, Jaden Puente. So once again, we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. Cowboys are coming in today's game with an 8-3 overall record. Seven hours coming into the game with 5-9 and 1. Five wins, nine losses, and one tie. We're three minutes away from game time. Seven out wearing all white, purple socks. Cowboys wearing all gray, purple socks. So once again, we'd like to say thank you to all our sponsors, Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. Cowboys will be back in action. Cowboys will be back in action Tuesday when they host Stockdale. Tonight's the Hennis Cowboys versus the Savannah Yellow Jackets live from Savannah High School. As both head coaches shake hands. Once again, getting the start 
on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Number 25, Jonas Borrego. Behind the plate, Jason Santos. At third base, Aiden Tinker. At shortstop, Sergio Vasquez. At second base, Matthew McCauley. At first base, Bo Bessa. And in the outfield for the Yellow Jackets. From left to right, Ricky Perez. Brian Alejandro and Diego Valdez. In earlier action, the JV Cowboys defeated the Sabanau JV. 10 to 3. And once again, the starting lineup for your Dennis Cowboys leading off for the Cowboys is getting the start on the mound. Number two, JJ Garcia. Followed by Brent Frosch playing first base. Shortstop, Rain Redden. Catching number 11, Will Shavi. Playing third base, Marcus Hernandez. Playing center field, Kate Hendry. Second base, Brady Herndon, left field, Aaron Chapman, and the designated hitter is Easton King with Jaden Puente playing out in right field. Once again, we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primos Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. First pitch coming up from Jonas Borrego. And leading off for the Cowboys is the pitcher, number two, J.J. Garcia. First pitch in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on the leadoff batter, J.J. Garcia. Borrego with the pitch. In there for a strike two. So no balls and two strikes on Garcia. The wind up in the pitch. Garcia swings and fouls it back into the fence. Count remains no balls and two strikes. A pitch from Borrego. Curveball hit to the first baseman, Bo Bessa. And he'll step on the plate for out number one. Up next is the first baseman, number nine, Brent Frosch. Borrego with the windup and the pitch. High for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Frosch. Curveball. Just miss outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Frosch. With Jonas Borrego on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. The pitch high for ball three. So three balls and no strikes. The pitch high for ball four. So Frosch will draw the walk and make his way towards first. And up next is the shortstop, number four, Rain Redden. So with one out here in the top of the first, 
Frosch draws the walk, and he's on first. And Rain Redden at the plate for the Cowboys. The pitch, low for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Redden with Frosch on first. Jonas Borrego on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. The pitch, Redden swings and hits it deep to right and it's gonna drop in for a single. So Frosch will advance the second and Redden will be safe at first on the single to right field. And up next is the catcher number 11, Will Shavi. Cowboys with runners in scoring position. Frosch on second, Redden on first. And Will Shavi now coming to the plate for the Cowboys. The pitch from Borrego is high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Shavi. The pitch high for ball two. Two balls and no strikes on the catcher, Will Shavi. Frosh on second, Redden on first. Pitch, curveball, high for ball three. So three balls and no strikes. The pitch in there for a strike one. So three balls and one strike on Shavi. Frosh on second, Redden on first. The pitch outside for ball four, so it's gonna load up the bases for the Cowboys. And now coming to the plate is the third baseman, number one, Marcus Hernandez. As Frosch drew the walk, first walk, he's on third. Red and single to right, he's on second. And Xavi now on first base, and checking in the courtesy run for Will Xavi at first base is Josiah Rodriguez. So bases loaded for Marcus Hernandez. And Jonas Borrego on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. The pitch. Inside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Hernandez. In there for strike one. So one ball and one strike with one out here in the top of the first. Bases loaded, Frosch on third, Redden on second, Rodriguez on first. The pitch, low for ball two. So two balls and one strike on Hernandez. The pitch from Borrego, high for ball three. So three and one count on Hernandez. The base is loaded. The pitch, Hernandez chops it foul into the Yellow Jacket dugout. It's gonna make the count full, three balls and two strikes. So full count on Marcus Hernandez. Frosch on third, Redden on second, Rodriguez on first. Pitch from Borrego, curveball high for ball four. So Frosch will come in and score on the walk and Hernandez will make his way towards first and the bases will remain loaded. Up next for the center fielder, number 21, Cade Hendry. One 
Once again, Jonas Borrego getting the start on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Jason Santos behind the plate. Aiden Tinker at third base. Sergio Vasquez at shortstop. Matthew McCauley at second base. Bo Bessa on first base. And the outfield from left to right for the Yellow Jackets. Ricky Perez, Brian Alejandro, and Diego Valdez. So bases loaded for Kate Hendry. Redden on third. Rodriguez on second. Swing and a miss for strike one. And Marcus Hernandez on first base for the Cowboys. The wind up in the pitch inside for ball one. So one ball and one strike on Hendry. In there for strike two. So one ball and two strikes on Hendry. The pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. And out number two. And up next is the second baseman. Number five. Brady Herndon with the bases loaded for the Cowboys. The pitch high and inside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Herndon. The pitch low and in the dirt for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Herndon. Redden on third, Rodriguez on second, Hernandez on first. Bases loaded for the Cowboys. The pitch from Borrego, high for ball three. So three balls and no strikes. The pitch in there for strike one. So three balls and one strike on Herndon. Bases loaded with two outs here in the top of the first. Cowboys lead one to zero. Borrego delivers a pitch high for ball four. And Redden will come in and score. And the Cowboys extend the lead to two to zero. As Rodriguez advances a third. Hernandez to second. Herndon to first. And now coming up to the plate is the left fielder number 18, Aaron Chapman. Assistant coach Hunter Eitze makes the trip out onto the mound to speak with Borrego and the rest of the infield. I'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in here live tonight on the Hennis Athletics on Facebook and also on YouTube. So once again, the bases are loaded for the Cowboys. Aaron Chapman now coming to the plate. With two outs here in the top of the first. Jonas Borrego on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. The pitch just missed outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes. On Chapman. The pitch low for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Aaron Chapman. <coughs> High and outside for ball three. So three balls and no strikes on Chapman. And the umpire is going to give a warning to the Cowboy dugout for cheering. So three balls and no strikes on Chapman. A pitch from Borrego. In there for strike one. So 
So three balls and one strike on Chapman with two outs. Bases loaded. The pitch from Borrego. Curveball high for ball four. And Rodriguez will come in and score. And the bases will remain loaded for the Cowboys. And up next is the designated hitter, Easton King. So Hernandez on third, Herndon on second, Chapman on first. First pitch high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on King. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Easton King. Bases loaded. The pitch, low and in the dirt for ball three. So three balls and no strikes. The pitch in there for a strike one. So three balls and one strike on King. The base is loaded. Hernandez on third. Herndon on second. Chapman on first. The pitch. King swings and fouls it back out of play. He's going to bring it up. Full count. Three balls and two strikes. Uh, the designated player. Easton King. The pitch outside for ball four. So Hernandez will come in and score on the walk. Herndon advances the third, Chapman the second, King on first, and now we're back to the top of the lineup with the starting pitcher for the Cowboys, number two, JJ Garcia. First pitch from Borrego, outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Garcia. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and no strikes. High for ball three. So three balls and no strikes on Garcia. With two outs, Herndon on third, Chapman on second. King on first. The pitch. In there for strike one. So three balls and one strike on Garcia. In there for strike two. So full count on JJ Garcia. With two outs here in the top of the first, bases loaded for the Cowboys. To wind up in the pitch from Borrego. Swing and a miss for strike three. Cowboys leave three runners stranded, but bring four runs across. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back in just a minute. Medina Electric Cooperative was built by this community more than 80 years ago to deliver safe, reliable, and affordable energy. We are proud to serve this community beyond the power lines. You can find us supporting your kids' little league, sponsoring school events, 
hosting safety presentations and more. We're honored to belong to this community. Keep up with Medina Electric from the power lines to the sidelines on social media or at medinaec.org. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live from Sabinow High School. Cowboys put four runs on the board to begin the top of the first. Getting the start on the mound for your Cowboys is number two, J.J. Garcia behind the plate, Will Chavi. At third base, Marcus Hernandez. At shortstop, Rain Redden. At second base, Brady Herndon. At first base, Brent Frosch. And the outfield from left to right, Aaron Chapman, Cade Hendry, and Jaden Puente. Leading the inning off for the Yellow Jackets is the pitcher, number 25, Jonas Borrego. Once again, getting the start on the mound for your Cowboys is the senior, number two, J.J. Garcia. Jonas Borrego leading off for the Yellow Jackets. First pitch from Garcia. In there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Borrego. The pitch. Caught the outside corner for strike two. So no balls and two strikes. The pitch, curveball high for ball one. So one ball and two strikes on Borrego with JJ Garcia getting the start on the mound for your Cowboys. Will Shavi behind the plate. The pitch from Garcia popped up deep to center. And the ball's going to drop in between the center fielder and the right field. So Jonas Borrego leads the inning off with the single. And up next is the designated hitter, number nine, Morgan Peak. So Borrego on first, peak at the plate. The pitch from Garcia, high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on peak. Pitch, Borrego's going to second. Base hit to right field, fielded by Puente who fires it in. And Borrego will advance the third on the hit from Peak. So the Yellow Jackets with runners on the corners on first and third. And now coming to the plate is the shortstop number eight, Sergio Vasquez. So Borrego on third, Peak on first. And the shortstop, Sergio Vasquez, now at the plate for the Yellow Jackets. Got to see how checks the runner at first. Pete gets back in time. The pitch from Garcia, swing and a miss for a strike one. So no balls and one strike on Vasquez. <laughs> Runners on the corners. The pitch high for ball one. Shawi fires it down to second. Miscommunication between the infielders. And Borrego will come in to score. As Peak advances to second. Hello? 
So one ball and one strike on Sergio Vasquez. The pitch from Garcia. High for ball two. So two balls and one strike on Vasquez with Morgan Peak on second. The pitch, swing and a miss for a strike two. So two balls and two strikes on Vasquez. The 2-2 two -two pitch, low and outside for ball three. So full count. Peak on second, Vasquez at the plate. JJ Garcia on the mound for the Cowboys. The pitch, hit, fielded by Garcia, checks the runner, fires it over to first to Frosch for out number one. So Peak will advance the third. And up next is the third baseman. Number three, Aiden Tinker. So Peak is on third, Aiden Tinker at the plate. The pitch from Garcia. Outside and low for ball one. Good stop by Xavi. The pitch from Garcia, swung and fouled back. Out of play, brings the count to one ball and one strike with one out here in the bottom of the first. Cowboys lead four to one. Yellow Jackets, the runner on third. Garcia delivers a pitch. Swung and fouled back out of play and into the softball field. Brings the count to one ball and two strikes on Tinker. from Garcia, curve ball, just missed for ball two. So two balls and two strikes on Tinker. The pitch outside for ball three. So full count on Aiden Tinker. Three balls and two strikes with one out here in the bottom of the first. Morgan Peak on third. The pitch from Garcia. Swung and popped up in the infield. And Brent Frosch will camp right under it to make the out for number two. For out number two. And up next for the Yellow Jackets is the right fielder, number 22, Diego Valdez. So Morgan Peak on third for the Yellow Jackets. Diego Valdez at the plate. JJ Garcia on the mound for the Cowboys. Will Xavi behind the plate. First pitch from Garcia, curveball in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Valdez. The pitch, curveball hit. Fielded by Redden that shortstop, fires it over to first to Frosch. And the out is complete. As we head to the top of the second, Yellow Jackets bring one run across, leave one runner stranded. Cowboys lead four to one. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. Hey, go ahead. Primo Processing, located in Hondo, Texas, strives to find the finest, best prime meats and wild game available in the market. We care for all of our customers and maintain the strictest quality standard. 
Food brings us all together and we want everyone to experience this feeling of togetherness over our delicious food. Come by our store or order online and have your food delivered straight to your door. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Located on Highway 90 on County Road 432 in Hondo, Texas, we pride ourselves in great customer service. We offer quality prime beef, wagyu beef, fajitas, parisa, year-round wild game processing, guaranteed return of your meat, ranch pickup service, and gift baskets here at Primo Processing in Hondo, Texas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live from Sabanau High School. Are you running? Where are you going? Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets 4-1 to one as we get ready to start the top of the second. And leading the inning off for the Cowboys is the first baseman, number nine, Brent Frosch. Jonas Borrego remains on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. First pitch. Inside and high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Frosch. Pitch outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Brent Frosch. The pitch from Borrego, high for ball three. So 3-0 count. The pitch outside for ball four. So Frosch will draw the walk and make his way towards first. And up next is the shortstop. Number four, Rain Redden. So Frosch on first, Redden at the plate. The pitch from Borrego, low for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Rain Redden. The pitch, high and inside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Redden with Brent Frosch on first, who drew the walk. The pitch, curveball high for ball three. So three balls and no strikes on Redden. The pitch outside for ball four. So back to back walks. As Frosch will advance to second, red right into first. And head coach Hank Steitler will come out and then speak to Borrego and his infield. And it appears that he's going to make a pitching change. So I'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co op, Primos Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. I'd like to thank you everybody for tuning in here live in the Hennis Athletics on Facebook and also on YouTube. And as they make the pitching change, I'm going to go adjust the camera. All 
all right the camera looks a little crooked but there's no fence in the way so now moving to the mound is number 10 from first base Bo Bessa So Brent Frosch and Rain Redden led the inning off with back-to-back -back walks as Jonas Borrego finishes the day for the Yellow Jackets. And now moving on to the mound for Sabinow is number 10, Bo Bessa. So runners now on first and second for the Cowboys. And now coming to the plate is the catcher, number 11, Will Shavi. First pitch from Beza. In there, first strike one. So no balls and one strike on Shavi. Frosh. Heading the third, bounce, balls hopped over to second. And the Yellow Jackets turn it infield, double play. Nice hard hit by Will Xavi. Fielded by the second baseman. Fired it over to Borrego, that's short. To first for the double play. Frosch advances the third. First pitch is inside for ball one. So Marcus Hernandez now at the plate for the Cowboys. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Hernandez with Frosch on third. Bobesa now on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. A pitch, low and outside for ball three. Just throw it, don't place it. Step and throw, kid. The pitch, inside for ball four. So Hernandez will draw the walk, and the Cowboys have have runners on the corners. So Brent Frosch on third. Marcus Hernandez now on first. And now coming to the plate is the center fielder, number 21, Kate Hendry. With two outs here in the top of the second, Cowboys lead 4-1. to one. New pitcher on the mound for the Yellow Jackets, Bo Bessa. The pitch high for ball one. And Hernandez will advance the second on the pitch. So runners now on second and third for the Cowboys. The pitch from Beza. Swing and a miss for strike one. So one ball and one strike on Hendry. Frosh on third, Hernandez on second, two outs. The pitch inside for ball two. So two balls and one strike. The pitch fouled back. So deuces across the board, two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the top of the second. Cowboys lead four to one. With Kate Hendry at the plate for the Cowboys. The 2-2 two -two pitch from Beza. Swung and fouled back out of play. Count remains. Two balls and two strikes. The 
The pitch outside and high for ball three. So full count on Hendry. The pitch swung and fouled back into the fence. Count remains full. Three balls and two strikes on Kate Hendry. With two outs here in the top of the second. The pitch loaned in the dirt for ball four. It's going to load up the bases once again for the Cowboys. And now coming up to bat is the second baseman, number five, Brady Herndon. So Brent Frosch on third, Marcus Hernandez on second, Kate Hendry on first, and Brady Herndon now coming to the plate with the bases loaded with two outs. The pitch from Bessa, low for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Herndon. The pitch. Inside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Herndon. The pitch outside for ball three. So three balls and no strikes on Herndon with the bases loaded. The pitch high for ball four. So Frosch will come in and score on the walk. Hernandez advances the third. Hendry to second. Herndon now on first. And now coming up to the plate is the left fielder, number 18, Aaron Chapman. The pitch from Besa. Gets by the catcher. Play at the plate, and Hernandez will be safe. As Herndon will advance the third. Henry to second. And Marcus Hernandez will come in and score on the pass ball. With Aaron Chapman at the plate for the Cowboys. Here in the top of the second. Bo Bessa has come in in relief as Jonas Borrego was the starter for the Yellow Jackets. The pitch from Beza outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Chapman. The pitch, high and inside for ball three. Curveball in there for strike one. So three balls and one strike on Aaron Chapman with two outs here in the top of the second. Cowboys lead six to one. Hendry on third. Herndon on second. The pitch. And the ball will hit Chapman. And Chapman will take his base towards first and load up the bases for the designated hitter, number 34, Easton King. Pitch to King. High for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on King. The pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. So one ball and one strike on King. Hendry, Herndon, and Chapman on the bases for the Cowboys. The pitch, high and outside for ball two. 
So two balls and one strike on Easton King. The pitch high for ball three. The pitch high for ball four. So Hendry will come in and score on the walk. Herndon advances a third, Chapman the second, King on first. Now we're back to the top of the lineup for the Cowboys as head coach Hank Steitler will make another pitching change. And now coming into the game to pitch for the Yellow Jackets from first base is number three, Aiden Tinker. So while he warms up, we're going to let our sponsors do a little bit of talking. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale Zare with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches to spiders and scorpions, Dale has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dale can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dale about any insect related problem you may be having. And he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood destroying insect report for the seller property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Control Services. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live from Sabinow High School. Top of the second, bases loaded for the Cowboys. Brady Herndon on third, Aaron Chapman on second, Easton King on first, and now coming back up to the plate is number two, J.J. Garcia. And new pitcher on the mound for the Yellow Jackets is number three, Aiden Tinker. Once again, we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primos Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. So once again, bases loaded for the Cowboys. And now up at the plate is the pitcher number two, J.J. Garcia. New pitcher on the mound for the Yellow Jackets, number three, Aiden Tinker. First pitch from Tinker. In there for strike one. So no balls in one strike on Garcia. The base is loaded. The pitch from Tinker. High for ball one. So one ball and one strike on Garcia. With two outs here in the top of the second. Bases loaded for the Cowboys. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and one strike. The pitch low and in the dirt for ball three. 
And Garcia thought it was ball four, but they're going to send him back to the plate. So three balls and one strike on Garcia with two outs here in the top of the second. Herndon, Chapman, and King on the bases for the Cowboys. The pitch high for ball four. So Garcia will make his way towards first. Herndon will come in and score on the walk. And now coming to the plate is the first baseman, number nine, Brent Frosch. So Brent Frosch at the plate for the Cowboys. The base is loaded. Chapman King and Garcia on the bases for the Cowboys. The pitch hit deep to right field in the gap. Chapman King and Case Braden will come in to score on the stand up RBI triple by Brent Frosch. And the Cowboys extend the lead to 11 to one here in the top of the second. And up next is the shortstop number four, Rain Redden. Aiden Tinker on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Rain Redden at the plate. The pitch, low in the dirt, gets by the catcher. And Frosch will come in and score. And the Cowboys extend the lead 12 to one. So one ball and no strikes on Redden. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Rain Redden. Pitch from Tinker. Redden swings and pops it up. And the ball will make its way out of play. So it's going to bring up the count of two balls and one strike with two outs here in the top of the second. Cowboys lead 12 to 1. Aiden Tinker now on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Rain Redden at the plate for the Cowboys. The pitch in there for a strike two. So deuces across the board, two balls, two strikes. With two outs here at the top of the second, Cowboys lead 12 to one. Rain Redden at the plate for the Cowboys. The pitch, swing and a miss for a strike three. As the Cowboys put eight runs on the board in the top of the second and now lead 12 to 1. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. There's power in the simplest of actions, like one neighbor helping another, 
where everybody looks out for everybody else. Community is everything to your electric cooperative, and we're grateful for your trust to provide the energy you need, giving you the power to power on. Medina Electric Cooperative is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your source for power and information. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Cowboys lead 12 to 1 over the Yellow Jackets. Remaining on the mound for the Cowboys is number two, JJ Garcia behind the plate, Will Shavi at third base, Marcus Hernandez at shortstop, Rain Redden at second base, Brady Herndon on first base, Brent Frosch, and in the outfield from left to right, Aaron Chapman, Kate Hendry, and Jaden Puente. And leading the inning off for the Yellow Jackets is number 10, Bo Bessa. First pitch from Garcia. Swung and fouled back into the fence. Brings a count to no balls and one strike on Bessa. The wind up in the pitch from Garcia. Curveball in there for strike two. So no balls and two strikes on Bessa. The pitch from Garcia. Hit, fielded by Frosch at first, and he's going to take it himself and step on the back for out number one. So up next is the second baseman, number two, Matthew McCauley. First pitch from Garcia, curveball. Just missed inside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on McCauley. The pitch outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on the batter. Pitch hit hard to third base. A beautiful catch by Marcus Hernandez for the second out of the inning. And up next for the Yellow Jackets is the catcher, Jason Santos. The pitch from Garcia, curveball. Just missed high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Santos. The pitch from Garcia, outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on the batter. The pitch in there for strike one. So two balls and one strike on Santos. The pitch from Garcia. Swung on, popped up. Fielded by Herndon at first, who fired second, who fires it over to Frosch at first for the third out. As we head to the top of the third, Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets 12 to 1. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back.
We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live from Sabanau High School as we get ready to start the top of the third. Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets 12 to 1 with Aiden Tinker on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Jason Santos behind the plate. Sergio Vasquez at third base. Jonas Borrego on second. Excuse me, at shortstop. Matthew McCauley on second base. Bo Bessa on first base. And on the outfield from left to right, Brian Alejandro. Ricky Perez and Diego Valdez. And leading the inning off for the Cowboys is the catcher number 11, Will Xavi. So Aiden Tinker on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. wind begins to pick up here nice little cool front the first pitch from Tinker in there for strike one so no balls and one strike on Xavi the pitch Xavi swings and fouls it back out of play. Brings the count to no balls and two strikes. So no balls and two strikes on Xavi. The pitch from Tinker. Xavi hits it, fielded by, bobbled by McCauley at second base. And Will Xavi will reach first on the error. And Xavi's making his way towards second. Checking in the courtesy run for Xavi on second base is number six, Josiah Rodriguez. So up next is the third baseman, number one, Marcus Hernandez with Rodriguez on second. The pitch from Tinker, high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Hernandez. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Hernandez with Rodriguez on second. Aiden Tinker on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Pitch in the dirt gets by the catcher and Rodriguez will advance the third on the pass ball. It's going to bring the count to two balls and one strike on Hernandez. And 
as you can see the wind is moving the camera so two balls and one strike on Marcus Hernandez Rodriguez on third the pitch outside and high for ball three so three balls and one strike on the batter the pitch in there for strike two so full count on Marcus Hernandez Pitch high for ball four, so Hernandez will draw the walk, and the Cowboys will have runners on the corners on first and third. And now coming up to the plate is the center fielder, number 21, Cade Hendry. So Josiah Rodriguez on third, Marcus Hernandez on first, and Cade Hendry at the plate for the Cowboys here in the top of the third with no outs. Hendry squares around, pulls back, balls bobbled by the catcher. And Hernandez will advance the second. So one ball and no strikes on Hendry. The pitch, Hendry swings. Fielded by Bessa at first, and he's going to step on the bag for out number one. But Rodriguez will come in and score. And Hernandez will advance the third. So with one out, up next is the second baseman, number five, Brady Herndon. from Tinker high for ball one so one ball and no strikes on Herndon Hernandez on third for the Cowboys the pitch in the dirt stopped by Santos for ball two so two balls and no strikes on Brady Herndon with one out here in the top of the third. Cowboys have brought in one run here so far. The pitch from Tinker. Good stop by Santos for ball three. So three balls and no strikes on Herndon. pitch in there for a strike one so three balls and one strike on Herndon Hernandez on third for the Cowboys with one out here in the top of the third the pitch swung and fouled back it's going to break the count full three balls and two strikes on Brady Herndon So full count with one out here in the top of the third. The pitch from Tinker in the dirt. Ball gets by the catcher. And Herndon will advance the first on the walk. 
So runners on the corners, Hernandez on third, Herndon on first. And now coming to the plate is the left fielder, number 18, Aaron Chapman. The pitch from Tinker in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Chapman. Once again, runners on the corners for the Cowboys. Hernandez on third, Herndon on first. Herndon making his way towards second. And he's gonna be safe. So one ball and one strike with one out here in the top of the third. Hernandez on third, Herndon now on second. Aaron Chapman at the plate for the Cowboys. Tinker delivers a pitch. Low for ball two. So two balls and one strike on Aaron Chapman. The pitch. Swing and a miss for a strike two. So two balls and two strikes on Chapman with one out here in the top of the third. Once again, Hernandez on third, Herndon on second. The pitch from Tinker, high for ball three. So full count, three balls and two strikes on Aaron Chapman. Pitch, swing and a miss for strike three and out number two. And up next is the designated hitter, number 34, Easton King. With Hernandez on third, Herndon on second. The pitch, swing and fouled back into the fence. So no balls and one strike on King. The pitch, low for ball one. So one ball and one strike on King with runners on second and third for the Cowboys. The pitch inside for ball two. So two balls and one strike. Pitch, Her nice hard hit to right field. Hernandez and Herndon will come in and score on the RBI by Easton King. And the Cowboys now lead 15 to one. And up next is the pitcher number two, JJ Garcia. First pitch from Tinker. Got to see how swings and fouls it back into the fence. So no balls and one strike on Garcia. Ball high. One ball and one strike on J.J. Garcia. 
with Easton King on first for the Cowboys. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and one strike on Garcia with King on first with two outs here in the top of the third. Cowboys have scored three runs here in the top of the third. The pitch blowing in the dirt for ball three. So three balls and one strike on Garcia. The pitch, Garcia swings and pops it up to center field. And Brian Alejandro misjudged the ball. So King will advance the third. And Garcia advances the second. And checking in the courtesy run for JJ Garcia's number seven, Case Braden. And now coming into the plate, up to the plate, is the first baseman, number nine, Brent Frosch. <laughs> the pitch from Tinker, high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Frosch. With King on third, Braden on second. The pitch in the dirt for ball two. So two balls and no strikes with runners on second and third for the Cowboys. With two outs here in the top of the third. The pitch high for ball three. So three balls and no strikes. The pitch, ball four. So Frosch will make his way towards first and load up the bases for the Cowboys and up next is the shortstop number four Rain Redden but head coach Hank Steitler is going to come out and make another pitching change once again we'd like to thank everybody for tuning in here live tonight on the Hennis Athletics on Facebook and also on YouTube like I say thank you to all of our sponsors Summit Landscape and Design Melita Electric Co-op Primo's Processing Main Street Mercantile in Cowboy Pest Control Services. So while they change pictures, we're going to let our sponsors do a little bit of talking. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale Zare with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches, to spiders, and scorpions, Dale has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dale can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dale about any insect related problem you may be having and he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood destroying insect report for the sale of property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Control Services.
Not everyone starts their day at the same time or in the same way. But no matter when or how, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative is there to help you power every moment of it in countless ways. Because whenever it starts, one thing is certain. We never stop. Medina Electric Cooperative is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your source for power and information. Primo Processing, located in Hondo, Texas, strives to find the finest, best prime meats and wild game available in the market. We care for all of our customers and maintain the strictest quality standard. Food brings us all together and we want everyone to experience this feeling of togetherness over our delicious food. Come by our store or order online and have your food delivered straight to your door. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., Located on Highway 90 on County Road 432 in Hondo, Texas, we pride ourselves in great customer service. We offer quality prime beef, Wagyu beef, fajitas, parisa, year-round wild game processing, guaranteed return of your meat, ranch pickup service, and gift baskets here at Primo Processing in Hondo, Texas. We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale's there with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches, to spiders and scorpions, Dale has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dale can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dale about any insect related problem you may be having. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. You picture on the mountain for the Yellow Jackets. It's number 15, Cannon Wren, new catcher, number eight, Sergio Vasquez. And at the plate for the Cowboys is the shortstop, number four, Rain Redden. The base is loaded, first pitch, Redden chops it over to third. And fielded by Bessa, by Tinker, excuse me. And he's gonna step on the bag for out number three. Cowboys leave three runners stranded. But bring three runs across and extend the lead to 15 to 1. You're watching the Hennessy Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. Medina Electric Cooperative was built by this community more than 80 years ago to deliver safe, reliable, and affordable energy. We are proud to serve this community beyond the power lines. You can find us supporting your kids' little league, sponsoring school events, hosting safety presentations, and more. We're honored to belong to this community. Keep up with Medina Electric from the power lines to the sidelines on social media or at medinaec.org. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we get ready to start the bottom of the third, Cowboys lead 15 to one over the Yellow Jackets. Remaining on the mound for DeHennis is number two, JJ Garcia. Behind the plate, Will Shavi. Third base, Marcus Hernandez. Rain running that shortstop. Brady Herndon at second base. Brent Frosch at first. In the outfield from left to right, Aaron Chapman, Kate Hendry, and Jaden Puente. First pitch from Garcia is high for ball one. And leading the inning off for the Yellow Jackets is Cannon Wren. The pitch from Garcia in there for strike one. The pitch. Swing and a miss for strike two. So fouled back and knocks the camera out. So we're going to go with Justin. So three balls and two strikes. And we'll be back to adjust the camera in just a minute. Ball four. So Rin will draw the walk and make his way towards first. And up next is number 25, Jonas Borrego. The pitch from Garcia. Borrego swings and pops it up to center field. And the catch is made for out number one by Kate Hendry. And up next is the designated hitter, number nine, Morgan Peak. The pitch from Garcia, swung, fielded by Garcia, fires it over to second to Herndon. And they turn the double play from J.J. Garcia to Brady Herndon to Brent Frosch to get out of the inning as we head to the top of the fourth. Cowboys lead 15-1. to You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back.
We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale's there with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches, to spiders and scorpions, Dale has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dale can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dale about any insect related problem you may be having. And he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood destroying insect report for the seller property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Control Services. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live from Sabinow High School. Top of the fourth, Cowboys lead 15 to 1 over the Yellow Jackets. And leading the inning off for the Cowboys is the catcher, number 11, Will Shavi. And remaining on the mound for the Yellow Jackets is number 15, Cannon Wren, with Sergio Vasquez behind the plate. First pitch from Wren. In there, first strike one. The pitch, curveball outside for ball one. So one ball and one strike on Will Shavi. The pitch high for ball two. So two balls and one strike on Shavi. The pitch, Shavi hits it and makes his way into the left field. So Will Shavi starts the inning off with the single. And checking in the courtesy run for Xavi at first. Is number six, Josiah Rodriguez. And now coming to the plate is the third baseman, number one, Marcus Hernandez. The pitch from Rin swung on and fouled into the glove of the catcher. So no balls and one strike on Hernandez. Rodriguez on first. The pitch high for ball one. So one ball and one strike. on Marcus Hernandez. <laughs> the pitch, swing and a miss for strike two. <laughs> so one ball and two strikes on Hernandez. The pitch, 
Hernandez hits it to right field, and it's going to drop in fair. And Rodriguez will advance to second, and Hernandez on the single to right. So runners now on first and second for the Cowboys. And now coming to the plate is the center fielder, number 21, Cade Hendry. So Josiah Rodriguez on second, Marcus Hernandez on first, and Kate Henry now at the plate for the Cowboys. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Hendry. The pitch, high and outside for ball one. So one ball and one strike on Hendry with runners on first and second. The pitch, outside for ball two. Cannon Wren on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Kate Henry at the plate. The pitch inside for ball three. The pitch, just a bit high for ball four, so Hendry will make his way towards first. And load up the bases for the Cowboys. And up next is the second baseman, number five, Brady Herndon, with Rodriguez on third, Hernandez on second, Hendry on first, and Brady Herndon at the plate. The pitch from Rin caught the outside corner for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Herndon. The pitch swung and fouled back into the fence once again. So no balls and two strikes on Brady Herndon. Pitch, curveball in there for strike three, and out number one. And up next is the left fielder, number 18, Aaron Chapman. The pitch in there for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Aaron Chapman with the bases loaded. The pitch swung and fouled off the catcher helmet. So brings the count to no balls and two strikes on Chapman. So no balls and two strikes with one out here in the top of the fourth. Bases loaded with Aaron Chapman at the plate. The pitch, curveball, Chapman fouls it back into the fence again. Count remains, no balls and two strikes.
the pitch. Curveball. Chapman hits it foul down the left field line. So no balls and two strikes on Chapman with one out. The base is loaded. Rodriguez on third. Hernandez on second. And Hendry on first. The pitch in there for a call, strike three, and out number two. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Kenan Rin. And up next is a designated hitter, number 34, Easton King. First pitch is just a bit high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on King. The pitch inside and low for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Easton King with the bases loaded. Cowboys lead 15 to one here in the top of the fourth. The pitch outside for ball three. So three balls and no strikes. Pitch high for ball four. So King will draw the walk. Rodriguez will come in and score. Hernandez advances the third. Hendry to second. King on first. And now coming up to the plate is the top of the lineup for the Cowboys. Number two, J.J. Garcia. Pitch outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Garcia. High for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Garcia. The pitch from Rin, low for ball three. So three balls and no strikes. Bases loaded, two outs. The pitch, high for ball four. So Marcus Hernandez will come in and score on the walk. And head coach Hank Steitler is going to call time and go out and speak to his pitcher. So Hendry advances the third, King the second. And courtesy running now on first base is number seven, Case Braden. With the first baseman, number nine, Brent Frosch, now coming to the plate for the Cowboys. So bases loaded for the Cowboys. Brent Frosch now at the plate for the DeHennis. Cannon Wren on the mound for the Yellow Jackets. The pitch 
outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Frosch. The pitch. Caught the inside corner for strike one. So one ball and one strike on Brent Frosch with the bases loaded. The pitch, Frosch swings and hits it foul down the right field line. It's gonna bring the count to one ball and two strikes. So one ball and two strikes on Frosch with Henry on third. King on second, Braden on first. The pitch from Wren. Outside for ball two. So deuces across the board, two balls, two strikes, and two outs here in the top of the fourth. Cowboys lead 17 to one with Brent Frosch at the plate. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Frosch sends it deep to center. And the catch is made for out number three. So the Cowboys leave three runners stranded. But bring two runs in. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. All right, we adjusted the camera. JJ got to see our remains on the mound for the Cowboys. We'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile, and Cowboy Pest Control Services. Cowboys scored four runs in the top of the first, eight runs in the top of the second, three runs in the top of the third, and two runs in the top of the fourth as the Yellow Jackets scored their one run in the bottom of the first. Remaining on the mound for the Cowboys is JJ Garcia behind the plate, Will Shavi, Marcus Hernandez at third base, Rain Redden at shortstop, Brady Herndon on second, Brent Frosch on first, and in the outfield from left to right, Aaron Chapman, Kate Hendry, and Jaden Puente. First pitch from Garcia. Just missed. So ball one. On the catcher, Sergio Vasquez. In the pitch. Vasquez swings and pops it up. Herndon makes the call at second base. And Herndon makes the catch for out number one. Up next is the third baseman, number three, Aiden Tinker. The wind up and the pitch from Garcia, curveball, just missed outside for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Tinker. Pitch high and inside for ball two. <laughs> Tinker 
Hits it, fielded by Hernandez at third, who fires it over to Frosch at first for out number two. And up next is the right fielder, number 22, Diego Valdez. Pitch from Garcia, curveball, swing and a miss for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Valdez. The pitch, curveball in there for strike two. So no balls and two strikes on the batter. The pitch, third straight curveball, strike three. As we head to the top of the fifth, Cowboys lead seven now, 17 to one. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. There's power in the simplest of actions. Like one neighbor helping another. Where everybody looks out for everybody else. Community is everything to your electric cooperative. And we're grateful for your trust to provide the energy you need, giving you the power to power on. Medina Electric Cooperative is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your source for power and information. Primo Processing, located in Hondo, Texas, strives to find the finest, best prime meats and wild game available in the market. We care for all of our customers and maintain the strictest quality standard. Food brings us all together and we want everyone to experience this feeling of togetherness over our delicious food. Come by our store or order online and have your food delivered straight to your door. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., Located on Highway 90 on County Road 432 in Hondo, Texas, we pride ourselves in great customer service. We offer quality prime beef, Wagyu beef, fajitas, parisa, year-round wild game processing, guaranteed return of your meat, ranch pickup service, and gift baskets here at Primo Processing in Hondo, Texas. is number three, Wyatt Slort. Pinch hitting. And remaining on the mound for the Yellow Jackets is Cannon Wren with Sergio Vasquez behind the plate. Slort pinch hitting for the Cowboys. First pitch high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Slort. The pitch from Wren in there for strike one. So one ball and one strike. The pitch fouled back into the catcher's mitt. Brings the count to one ball and two strikes on Schlort. Pitch from Wren, outside for ball two. So two balls and two strikes. 
on the pinch hitter, Wyatt Slort. The 2 2 pitch. High and inside for ball three. So full count on Slort. The pitch, curveball outside for ball four. So Slort will draw the walk and make his way towards first. And another pinch hitter is number 23, Joaquin Bermea. So Slort now in first, Bermea now at the plate. The pitch from Rin. Inside for ball one. So Slort will advance on the pass ball to second. Joaquin Bermea at the plate. White Slort on second. One ball, no strikes. Outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Bermea. The pitch in there for strike one. So two balls and one strike on Bermea with White Slort on second. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike two. So two balls and two strikes on Joaquin Bermea. The 2-2 two -two pitch, swing and a miss for a strike three. And out number one. And up next is number six, Josiah Rodriguez. Swing and a miss for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Rodriguez. The pitch, low and outside for ball one. So one ball and one strike with one out here in the top of the fifth. Wyatt Schlord on second. Josiah Rodriguez at the plate. The pitch. Rodriguez chops it over to third, fielded by Tinker, who fires it over to first for out number two. But Schlort will advance to third. And now coming up to the plate is number 10, Joe Ruiz. First pitch to Luis, swing and a miss for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Luis. The pitch high for ball one. So one ball and one strike with Slort on third. The pitch, Ruiz hits it deep to center field and the catch is made for out number three as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets 17 to one. You're watching the Hennis Cowboy Baseball. We'll be right back. We like to describe Main Street Mercantile as a little piece of heaven with a wild street. We started with the dream to bring a fabulous and unique gift selection to our small town and rural community. 
We have trendy clothing, home decor, accessories, and so much more. We are a destination worth the trip. Just ask anybody who's been here. Located on Highway 90, just outside of Hondo, stop in today to your new favorite store. Cowboy Pest Control Services. With over 18 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale Zare with Cowboy Pest Control Services has seen and solved every insect issue that you may be facing. From ants, roaches, to spiders, and scorpions, Dale has solved them all. And when termites are found, Dale can deal with them also. Call or text 830-931-5542 and talk to Dale about any insect-related problem you may be having. And he will get to work fixing it fast and at a fair price. Also, if you need a wood-destroying insect report for the sale of property, he does that too. Best of luck to the Cowboys and Cowgirls from Cowboy Pest Control Services. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom of the fifth, Cowboys lead the Yellow Jackets 17 to 1. And leading the inning off for the Yellow Jackets is number 10, Bo Bessa. With JJ Garcia on the mound for the Cowboys, Will Shavi behind the plate. Hernandez, Redden, Herndon, and Frost in the infield. First pitch, hit the second base, bobbled by Herndon, still has a play. And makes the throw in time for out number one. So initially, Herndon bobbled the ball, stayed with it, fired it over to first to Brent Frosch for the first out. And up next is the second baseman, number four, Matthew McCauley. The pitch from Garcia, curveball high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on McCauley. The pitch in there for strike one. So one ball and one strike on the batter. With one out here in the bottom of the fifth. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike two. So one ball and two strikes on McCauley. The pitch from Garcia in there for strike three and out number two. And up next is number seven, Jason Santos. Pitch from Garcia. Santos swings and fouls it back. Brings the count to no balls and one strike. So no balls and one strike on Jason Santos. The pitch, curveball in there for strike two. So no balls and two strikes on Santos. The wind up in the pitch, curve ball. Just missed high for ball one. <laughs> so one ball and two strikes on the batter. The pitch high for ball two. So deuces across the board, two balls, two strikes, with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Cowboys lead 17 to one, with JJ Garcia on the mound. The pitch, swing and a miss for strike three. And the Dehennis Cowboys are victorious over the Savannah Yellow Jackets, 17 to one. We'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Summit Landscape and Design, Medina Electric Co-op, Primo's Processing, Main Street Mercantile and Cowboy Pest Control Services. So till next time.